Go to. Hmm. It's a good trivia question. I'm not even going to tell you. You're going to have to pay attention before you learn that one. So ask a biology teacher, and then you can tell if they really know what they're talking about. Say, hey, when you make a sugar, you got the carbons and the oxygens. Those oxygens from the water or from the CO2? What do we get to do now, kids? Color it in. So this gets all green. This gets all green. This gets blacked in. Gets blacked in. Blacked in. So I think this will make a good little coloring book, huh? Just have the outlines and the kids get to color them. Whenever you see a diamond, color it black. It's really a shame with the red in the cards, but carbon is oil. So oil's going to get a bad rap with this generation with the golf and all that going on. So this is glucose. Now what we want to do is we want to line it up so the next sugar, like we did our amino acids, lines up here. So let's grab an old piece of scrap paper here because we don't know how good this is going to work. So we need an oxygen right here. We'll line it up. We're going to need another oxygen over there. So this might work. When we line it up, we can see the way the bond formed. So for the galactose now, see, this is going to have this on top of the diamond. So when this goes, that's going to be on top. That's got to be on top. Our carbon-carbon bonds have to go side there. Diamond. Make this real hokey cartoon stuff because see that's the wood on the bottom. This oxygen over here, this is on the bottom. So just put it on the bottom of the diamond. Don't worry about it. That's on the bottom. This has to go to a side arm on there. So let's make this, this go to there. This is going to go up to an oxygen here. So see, once we get the hang of this, and we can color that all the way in because we know that's an ether. Right in the middle. That gets all the way. This one gets all the way. Color that all the way, too. So see the difference now. These oxygens are different then the OHs. What do we have here? Another diamond. We've got to continue on with this. So this is going to go, and we prefer on the side. So there's a diamond to the O, straight up. We'll just, this is our advanced class, so we don't need to always draw lines in there. Sometimes we can just draw diamond on diamond. This works really good on the fats. So now we go through and we find our OHs. This one for galactose. I'll write this down here so you know what we're doing. This one is galactose. So bonding this to glucose is actually what makes it a lactose. So if you're not totally confused, you're not paying attention. How about if you're not totally confused, you're not learning anything. So galactose has the alcohol on the bottom, alcohol on top, alcohol here on the top. Alcohol here is considered part of that one. So alcohol up here can be anywhere you want it. See, that's the thing you start noticing next is if you have two hydrogens on the side of a carbon, that means this guy can go any which way it wants because you got to remember this is a three-dimensional thing with carbon, so it's able, that OH, the way it's bound, can be out there. This is just hanging off. So that's an OH. So these get them colored inside, right? OHs. Those are the alcohols. Photosynthesis. Now we come through and we make sure all the carbons have their fourth one. So dot, dot, dot. You know, what do we got going on here? This is a carbon that is bound to that. So that's one of the bonds. That's one of the bonds. It's still got to be a carbon to a carbon. See, we messed up here. That's why I said we were learning. We were testing this out. 
this goes to there. So that shouldn't be there at all. Let's see, watch what happens. Where is our glucose? So we bring these together now, right? What we're going to end up with, let's see if we can center this a little bit better here. Is that going to work? The tape held on the poster. So if we put these both together and show this down here, is there enough room? Nope. When we line it up here, get an overlap. That's not there, so this is carbon to carbon. That's one of those bonds. So this is going to be really hard to get these so they can line up and make long sugars, because what you'll get is glucoses going this way to build glycogen, and then these here can bond off side chains of glucose to make longer chains. See, these are what they'll, they'll call twos. We've got sucrose that we did. We're going we're gonna to finish this lactose one. So glucose itself can go on and form long chains. Oh, come on. We're out of tape anyway, aren't we? Long chains like this. So in starch... This is the leaves. This is the way the leaves stores the glucose. These long cellulose chains, the way these are bound together. In the body, you've got glycogen. So see the way the glycogen is able to form these glucoses in ribbons. Here in fruits, they're stored up as pectins, amylose. So they're just in the way that they're either glucoses or galactoses. And the way they're bound together, because you've got to string these long to store them. So that's how they're stored in the body. There, my friends, is glucose. two minutes for this so again our sugars see this is how they draw them here this is called the 1-4 linkage see it's all about how these are bound together here starch 1-4 linkage of glucose this is the beta glucose so these ups and downs make heads or tails of that Lights are shining on it. And then again, glycogen. You can see how glycogen is stored. That's in your muscles. Enzymes come and say, hey, we need energy. Break up, break up the glycogen. In plants, they store it as amylose, which are pectins. Two forms of the starch. Amylose, unbranched. Amylopectin has branches off to the sides. So see, this is a cool three-dimensional drawing. They're like ribbons, but they're all just repeating glucose molecules. Proteins form long strings. So it's all about how these, remember like I said before, these are hydrated. So they're in water. Waters are hanging onto those things like magnets, the negatives, you got OH on the end, so the proton probably falls off and you get this part of a water molecule. So six